The Drummer Boy by Lauren Long In a wintry little town, not far from here, a package was left on the doorstep of no particular home with a note that read, Open now and enjoy the Christmas spirit early. That is what the child did. He opened the package and found a little drummer boy standing there playing his drum. Just what I wanted, said the child, and the drummer boy's heart felt warm. The child loved the drummer boy and played with him all the time. And as often as he could, when it was quiet and still, the little drummer boy played his drum for the child. One morning, the drummer boy was left standing on the nightstand, and the dog's tail brushed him off. Down he tumbled right into a trash can. It was not a good place for a drummer boy. He didn't know up from down. Then the mother emptied him into an even bigger trash can and put it out on the curb. Before he knew it, two strong men emptied him into a big, loud truck, and away it went. The truck was cramped and bounced him around, but the drummer boy did not say a word. He just squeezed his sticks tighter and held his drum close. And a good thing because with a roar, the truck emptied itself into the city dump. The little drummer boy found himself standing on a mountain of trash. A grumpy old rat, foraging for scraps, looked right at him and snarled. Despite the rude greeting in that cold place, he gripped his sticks tightly and started to play his drum. The rat snarled softly, and he slipped quietly away. But the little drummer boy was only there for a song, it seemed, when an owl swooped down, snatched him up, and flew with him out into the countryside to the top of an old tree and a waiting owl nest. There, Hungry, screeching owls stretched their beaks at him. So the drummer boy started to play his drum. The owls grew quiet and drifted off to sleep. But before the drummer boy knew it, the mother owl returned and plucked him up and flew him to the city, leaving him there on the peak of a bell tower. Night fell and the drummer boy was scared and alone, but he looked out over the snowy city. It seemed to him that it was lonely too. And so he stood tall and played his drum. The city listened and was more at peace. The next morning, a big wind blew in and the drummer boy was blown off of the bell tower. He gripped his sticks tight and held his drum close as he fell down, down, down. He landed in a snowy thorn bush. A thorn stabbed him. He couldn't move. And as he lay there, he watched the day turn into night again. All he could see was the sky which was slowly filled with stars. Ignoring the sharp thorn, 
He played his drum for them. The stars twinkled to the beat of his drum. Did he fall asleep? For suddenly, a barking dog with large teeth was chomping at his neck. The dog tugged to free him from the prickly thorn bush and carried him off. After roaming the city, he finally dropped the drummer boy at the foot of a big snowman. He was left alone again in the cold night. As a blustery wind whipped by, the drummer boy looked up into the frozen snowman's charcoal eyes, and he played his drum for him. It gave the snowman a cozy chill. That night, a raccoon carried the little drummer boy off to a place where there were statues and stones standing across a field covered by snow. The drummer boy didn't know where he was. He thought about the child and the warm home that he knew. He thought about the garbage dump and the rat and the owls and the city and the stars and the snowman with charcoal eyes. The little drummer boy felt lost. The statues and stones surrounded him, almost as if they were waiting. So, with a heavy heart, he played his drum for them. and the snow fell. In the morning, he was awakened by a familiar voice. Merry Christmas, Grandpa! The child did not see the drummer boy at all, for he was almost covered with newly fallen snow. But as the boy placed the flowers at his grandpa's grave, he saw something sticking up from the snow nearby. Mama, Papa, look, the child said with amazement. My little drummer boy, out here in the snow. And he took the drummer boy home. After Christmas dinner, when the candles were lit, all of the family gathered to sing songs. The child sat quietly with the drummer boy in the glow of the moment, and he was suddenly filled with the Christmas spirit. He rose and carried the little drummer boy over to the mantel where the stable stood and placed him gently at the feet of the baby. The drummer boy looked at the baby before him. He took a deep breath and he began to play his drum as never before. And the little drummer boy's heart felt warm.